All right, so let's call to order the May 1st, 2024 meeting of the Board of Supervisors of Lower Southford Township. If everyone could join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, Thank you. That brings us to our... Uh, First discussion period on the agenda. Uh, we have two, one at the beginning and one at the end. Is there anyone wishing to be recognized? You're up, Mr. Kennedy. Oh, thank you. Name and address for the record, please. Uh, John Kennedy, 397 Women Court. Uh, I'd like to speak with you tonight about Oliver Road. Uh, ever since the bridge was completed, it has been a great help to all the neighbors there. Um, but it, as is often the case, we saw one problem, create another problem. And so currently the problem on Oliver Road is excessive speed. And I mean really excessive. Uh, it is phenomenal how fast these people, especially the young ones, drive on that road. And not only do they drive fast, they don't seem to be using their brain much when they do drive. As most of you know, there are two very well used pedestrian crossings. There's also a road that goes to Park, one at uh, Bethany Drive and one at Drive. And I think that something should be done to kind of break up that, that solid drag spin that some people have come to use uh, off the road at. So I would just ask you to consider possibly looking into making some three way stops there so that the entire road segment is broken up. Possibly one at Bethany Drive, possibly one at the end. I know that um, stop signs don't just happen. There needs to be study and, and all those types of things, but I would encourage the board to be stuck in the process. Possibly. Thanks, Sean. Sure. The other thing we possibly do is raised crosswalks, which have a tendency to slow traffic once oh, they hit them the, the first time. Probably not the first time. Yeah, so this is the one thing that happened. Yeah, that's right. And it, it just seems to be getting worse. The downward spring has come out. It's crazy. It is uh, exciting to see also how many pedestrians use that trail system. Yeah. So that, yeah. that conflict of the two, your yeah. point is well made. Exactly. So we're yeah, she, it, but it's two things. I don't think you just want to look at the speed. I think you want to look at the, the pedestrian cap. Exactly. Yeah. See because my guess is the only way we would get a warrant for a freeway would be, well, you have to use engineering judgment. And if there's enough potential for pedestrian conflict with the traffic, there is some room in the statute for that. There is. Yeah. There is. I think a, I think there may be other avenues as well. But. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking, you know, I drive around the area. And I know for many years. Thinking of North Wales Road, I think, in, which was a, a an open road for many years. He did put stops all of them straight. Uh, and it really does help. Yeah, and even if they're not warranted, right? Uh, they have it's sometimes the effect. And that could be, then, John, you're not the first one to bring it since I've been here, at least uh, up to our attention here. I know that we put the uh, pedestrian crossing as a yeah. slide. But it's good to know that that's not enough. Right. Oh, we do. We do get people. Stop for the geese. Thank you. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Anyone else wishing to be recognized? All right. Seeing none, we'll move on to the consent agenda. I will take a motion to approve those items. So moved. Chairman, can I make one correction? I know I didn't mention it last night to the minutes. Um, I did look them over. I rewatched. Uh, um, it does say that I, you know, me, Mr. Shelley made a statement regarding the time. Where are you? Okay. Where are you? I am on, sorry, E196 A Street. Whereabouts in the P? Right here. Question. It's right about here. We're sorry. Oh, okay. Mr. Shelley made a statement regarding the time of the application. I felt the board was not getting adequate amount of time to review the revised plan. I know that that is somewhat accurate to what we discussed. There was a lot more discussion as well. We went back and forth. I shared some other opinions too, but I think for the accuracy, if I could have in there, uh, just to add, 
And so Shelley made a statement regarding the board and the general public was not given at it. Well, and some of the members of the public. And what that was in reference to was how I spoke about some of the some of the exhibits were just came out the week before. We didn't advertise them, and I know we went back and forth with that. So, so you remember just felt that the board and some members of the public. Yes, and, and one thing I did say is, you know, I'm not going to make it verbatim, but I mentioned that there's obviously might be interested parties that might have comments. And the big thing that I said in the end as well is that I just didn't want to set a precedent for rushing things. I just wanted to. I guess what's the amendment? What's the amendment you want? Don't amendment, take that as a amendment to my motion. If you, what's the Thank word? You. Fair enough. I'm saying Mr. Shelley made a statement regarding the timing of the application. Felt that the board, some members of the public, and members of the public were not given an act. So we just need to add and members of the public between board and. Once. That's all I would like to add. And then in the end will... where it says Supervisor Shelley clarified that he voted no on the conditional use because he felt there was not enough time to review the updated plans. If I could add that, I also didn't want to set a precedent of rushing things. Which I also said at that point. That's on the back there, my apologies. The back where it's last thing being for being no further business. You'll send these to Joe. I will send them right after. I'll I'll accept both of those as the amendment to the motion. Is there a second? Second. Right. There's no second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Motion carries. Moving on to the committee reports. Zoning hearing board, Mr. Buki. There are no applications. HP. All right. Park board in the absence of Ms. Holly. Sure. So uh, Park Board had their meeting out at Reich Park in one of the new greenhouses that is operated by the Perkiman Watershed Conservancy. Uh, it was a great evening. Got to see the greenhouse in action. Learn a little bit more about the program out there and see all the plants are growing. Uh, we also had a well-attended or well-attended meeting uh, by some residents that had some unique ideas, uh, some duck shelters for some of the ponds we have to get them out of the pads. Um, so we have a couple exciting things. That's good. Next meeting is on the bottom of the page. I think, yep, June 25th, 7 p.m. We skip May. Thanks. All right. Any questions for uh, Ken? Nope. Thank you. Uh, Fire Chief, I don't see anyone here. Sorry. Valley Medical to uh, submit a report. They did for uh, last month, which is on file at the township if anyone is interested. Communications Committee, Kevin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, last meeting, Communications Committee uh, finalized our welcome letter packet. Uh, we did get uh, updated the writing in the front with the welcome letter, confirmed it with you guys as well. We're very excited now to get that underway, and we went through some addresses of new residents and make sure with the two lists that nothing was crossed out and we're excited to get those letters out to welcome our new residents let them know uh, that all that lower Alfred has so how many are on the first batch yes please yes it was an exact number it was, uh, <laughs> and it was, it's like 100 and so many other couldn't get sorry i think i believe it was 100 none <laughs> very Thank good you. any questions for mr shelley so sure. moving on to the Recreation Authority, we did not meet last month. We had a few folks that uh, needed to be out. So uh, our next meeting is scheduled for May 23rd at 7 p.m. Uh, that meeting, I believe, is actually 6 p.m. at the golf course. We, once a year, do a tour of the course um, to check out a few things. We did uh, one of the bridges I think it's 17. We redecked the top of it. So there's some improvements coming uh, as time goes on. We got to update. So, anyway, the golf course in and of itself is doing real well. All right, moving on. Uh, no unfinished business. So, we'll move to new business. Okay. Uh, resolution number 2024 08, authorizing the submission of a Greenways, Trails, and Recreation Program grant application from the Commonwealth Financing Authority for phase two of the uh, SR-113 Harleysville Pike alternate route shared use, say, shared use path project. Uh, that will be um, to the tune, I think, of about $250,000. This is for the Walton Trail, along the potential relocated 113, but it's just the Walton Trail. Just the Walton right. Trail, that's correct. I would uh, make a motion to approve resolution 2024-08. I will second. Moved and seconded. All in favor, say. Is there any comment? 
Any comment? Okay. Move to the second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed aye. say nay. Motion carries. Next up, resolution number 2024-09, authorizing the submission of a multimodal transportation fund program grant application from the Commonwealth Financing Authority for Oak Drive right turn lane and sidewalk connection project. Uh, this would provide for the construction of that project. That grant would be $947,630. This would be between Maple, that would be Boyer, Boyer and Main Street. That is correct. There. And provide extra capacity. I would make a motion to approve 2024-09. I'll second. Moved in second. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Say nay. She carries. Next up, a personal favorite of mine. Adoption of proclamation designating May 23rd through 25, 2024 as the annual Harleysville Country Fair Days with a my beloved parade on Saturday. Parade on Saturday. Yes. Did you make that as a motion? I did. That's a motion. I'll second it. Move then, second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Both say nay. And if we can just put a shout out to Mr. Krause's Fine son Owen, who is doing an excellent job organizing the fair for his second year in a row. Thank him very much. I think it's also worthwhile to note that the proclamation says we strongly urge all residents of Lower Salford Township to participate in activities. If you haven't and, done so yet, and spend heavily. All right, next up, we have a, uh, a request for fire police assistance. At the Skipback Lions Club 5K and One Mile Fun Run on Saturday, June 22nd, 2024. Do I have a motion to approve? That? So moved. Second. Okay. Moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Say nay. Carries. All right. Uh, next up, item E contract awards. Uh, we'll do these, I guess, one at a time. The 2024 bituminous base repair contract which uh, Doug Jones is kind enough to give us a memorandum regarding. Any questions or comments? I'd make a motion to approve uh, the bid of Saxon Sun Inc. as the apparent low bidder uh, for a total value of $71,260, well into $100,000 drilling rates for I'll second. Moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Both say nay. Everybody likes base repair. All right, next up, uh, 2024 pavement markings contract. This is a joint contract with our neighboring friends of Franconia. Let's see, the bid results were totaling, I guess, $73,087.50. Make a motion to approve the bid of Alpha Space Control Company Inc. of Chambersburg, PA, as the apparent low bidder for the total amount of $73,087.50. Second. Move the second and all in favor say aye. 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 Those say nay. Motion carries. All right. We sold a few miscellaneous slash extraneous items that the data had in its storage. The two of the items were in excess of two thousand dollars, so we need to award those sales separately here at a meeting. So first up is a Lamar. 6 HB sweeper. It sold in the amount of $3,600 to Charles Rabel. I would make a motion to approve the sale of the sweeper that was only used on Sundays by a little old lady going to church. <laughs> I will second. Move that second in. All in favor say aye. 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 Let's say nay. Motion carries. Next up, a Baldwin 550 paver. Uh, which sold for $2,600 uh, to Blaze Stalt. So I said that for I believe that was like a 1970 something paper or something. It might have been sold as an antique. Ball, yeah. ball, ball, ball. <laughs> ball, ball for many. I'd make a motion to approve the sale to Mr. Stalt, as noted. Second. Move and second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Those say nay. Motion carries. Last up, we are looking to execute a lease agreement for some additional garage space with the township and Deborah E. Baker. Are there any questions or comments regarding the lease? 
Mr. Chairman, what I was going to say is, um, uh, or suggest is that um, perhaps the board could uh, authorize the execution of the contract conditioned upon a meeting with the approval of the tenant solicitor, uh, because there is still an issue with the insurance. It's a minor issue, but it's one we have to resolve because the lease does not provide, if you have seen it, with the landlord having any responsibility whatsoever to provide any insurance. Um, so that's got to be fixed. All right. So I'd make a motion to authorize the chairman to execute the lease upon the final review uh, by the township solicitor's office. With, with that, uh, I know we talked a little bit about yesterday um, the golf club's contribution as well. Is the golf club contributing to this financially as yeah. well officially? Then they'll pay. I know. And just for the reason that that is, is we are storing that equipment for right? Right. 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 for their benefit. Yeah. Thank you. Good deal. We have a motion. Second. We've been seconded. All in favor, say aye. 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 Don't say nay. Motion carries. That brings us to our second discussion period of the evening. Is there anyone wishing to be recognized? Very nice. Oh, go ahead. On my way over here, I was coming from Indian Valley, and uh, two residents stopped me, and they just had some questions that when they mentioned tonight about solicitation permits. Um, I did notice in our budget report, and I related to them because I just read it, that we did issue with like two to the same company, then there was three individual names. Um, their question was that they had a couple people come by and they didn't have permits. I know I've seen it last year, and you know I told them the best thing to do is to call the township right away to find out you know, if they could check with the police, call make sure the, department. the police department, but then get it right away, absolutely. The question they asked me is, is there any way that we could list possibly before the nice weather? And it makes sense, maybe who has permits and who doesn't? To save people hassle, um, you know, from asking, that was just something that we were discussing tonight. And I don't know if we'd want to put it down for future reference, but I think it's worth thinking about as we go into nice weather. It might be something nice to do. I've had people go on our street, and I'm sure that's the same thing. Right? Maybe put it on the on the website. Or yeah, just like maybe that. if that's something a possibility we could do yeah. to say, hey, here's who has permits issued right now, and that that could ease a lot because you know we have some older individuals who I know it's a challenge to get up and go to the door and. Then you go to the door and it's not even somebody who has a legitimate permit to be there. It's not really worth their time. So it's just something we can think about, maybe. I don't know if we can make official action on it, but I there's no reason it's very public. Yeah, no, I, I would say um I, I don't have a problem with it, but we undertake a responsibility when we do that. Right. So it's got we gotta stay on top of it. And there ought to be a some kind of a an as update. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, put yeah, it up, it's an as you go around to that we can't make a mistake. Could we base it on reception of payment, payment perhaps? perhaps? Like, obviously, yeah. you have to put what do you say, though? I have to make sure we take it down. <laughs> we put it there. Well, and I don't think that's going to make sure we always keep it up to date. Then. We have to do it. Like, it's one more week, it's updated or something along that line. And, and there ought to be some yeah. something at the bottom of the thing that says it's updated once a week. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. I work with the police department. Perfect. It's got a couple of great there. Yeah, that's why I figured we have to check all the parties. But I just want to bring that up there. Well, it's got a couple of the police because they actually issue the permits. Thank you. All right. Very good. Any other right. public discussion? One one point. Our area is dangerously low on blood. Uh, Montgomery County, Bucks County areas are. It's it's actually a crisis right now uh, for blood. Uh, they're having a blood drive at the Peter over at Peter Becker. On uh, May 14th, between 1 and 6 p.m., if there's anybody who wants to give blood, we have, you have to sign up. We're trying to get, you have to get a minimum of 35 people to give blood in order for the Red Cross to show up. So we're just trying to get people together, uh, the more the merrier. Um, donuts, juice, all that fun stuff. So um, please, if you can make it, it it's very important. What's the date? Uh, May 14th. One to six at the Peter Becker, eight hundred Maple Avenue. All right. So anybody you can mention it to would be a big help. And like I said, it's very important we have that. You never know when you're going to need it. All right. Any uh, other public discussion for this evening, Mr. Jukowski? Do we have need for executive session? This uh, very brief. Matter of matter of personnel. Very good. But brief executive session. With that, I think I'm motion to adjourn. Don't move. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Good Thank you.